Lesson 3 The Executive to Implement Laws Hello everyone. Today we shall study Chapter 3 The Executive which means to implement laws. So children, the executive is the government body that enforces rules and laws. The executive is responsible for enforcing the policies and laws passed by the legislature. Since India is a union of states, a system of the executive exists in both the central and state level in the constitution. All the executive powers are vested in the president. So children, let us know about the president of India. The president of India is a ceremonial head of the executive union. The president is the first citizen of India. He is the supreme commander of all the three armed forces. Let's see the election of the president. The president is indirectly elected by an electoral college consisting of the elected members of both the houses of parliament, the elected members of legislative assemblies and national capital territory, Delhi and the union territory of Puducherry. The president holds office for a term of five years. For the office of the president, one should be the citizen of India. One should has completed the age of 35 years. One should not hold any office of profit. Now children, let us know about the powers and functions of the president. President appoints the prime minister and other ministers on advice of the prime minister and allocates their departments. He appoints the governors, judges of the high courts and the supreme court, the chief election commissioner and other commissioners of election commission of India, comptroller and auditor general of India. The president plays main role in the process of making law. Any bill passed in the upper and lower houses needs the assent of the president. Then it becomes an act. The president can grant pardon to any person sentenced to death or suspend any other punishment for some time or change the nature of punishment. Let us know about the Vice President of India. He is an ex officio chairman of the Council of State. He acts as president in the absence of president. Now, let us know about the Prime Minister and the Council of Ministers. A person who has full majority in Lok Sabha can be elected as Prime Minister by the President. The President appoints the members of Council of Ministers on the advice of Prime Minister. The Prime Minister recommends President to remove any minister or appoint a new minister. Prime Minister and the Council of Ministers have the responsibility to enforce the laws and policies made by the Parliament in the whole country. To remove them, no confidence motion can be brought in Lok Sabha. So children, as you all have been told about the President, Vice President, Prime Minister, Council of Ministers and their works and powers. That's all for today children. Thank you.